Hi Taurus, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week starting 1st of March 2021. It's going to be two cards per day every day of this week. So, Monday, 1st of March, Queen of Pentacles, Tuesday, the Tower, <clears throat> Wednesday. Ten of Swords, Thursday, King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Friday, Saturday, Two of Cups, and Sunday, Eight of Swords, your influencing energy is Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person. Somebody who is emotional, rather caring person, Queen of Cups, passive energy though in your environment, maybe your mother, maybe your friend, we'll see later when we pair it with another card. Okay, Nine of Pentacles now paired with a Page of Cups on Monday, the Tower, Tuesday paired with a Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords paired with a Ten of Cups. King of Pentacles paired with a Seven of Pentacles. Now King of Cups paired with Eight of Swords. We have repeated Eight of Swords. Uh, two of Cups paired with Ace of Wands. And Eight of Swords paired with Eight of Cups. Interesting, very interesting cards on the table. Knight of Wands is kind of that Aries energy, fire energy, enthusiasm, happiness, doing things you know, your own way, being creative. You've got idea about yourself and you are going to do it just like that. Not even making any plans. You could. This is very atypical. This is not energy that is suitable for Taurus people. You people like it a bit slower. Um, you like to think uh, before you act and stuff like that. You want to be certain. This one is just go for it. That kind of moment for you. It seems to me that you are interacting with another person, perhaps, perhaps it's among other things, but there will be something happening in your love life. That's for sure, Taurus. And it seems to me you are the one who comes as a, as a charmer, one who comes with ideas, one who wants to impress this person, this, this water sign, this Cancer, uh, Pisces or Scorpio person. You are the one. You are offensive, or <laughs> not offensive, I'm joking, but you kind of like this person, you are passionate about this person. All right, um, now Monday with a page of cups and nine of pentacles, you are happy that you do have your money, your success, you do have something around you that you're very pleased with, that you're very happy in. All right, that's your achievement, that's your abode, that's your good home, that's your success, that's your money, that's you being happy in the place where you are, being proud of yourself as well, because this is a bit, it, this is one person, this is you on your own, but being happy, being, as I said, proud of yourself, doing something on your own and being and achieving results by yourself. Rather nice energy, very individual very independent kind of energy on your side, Taurus. But the Page of Cups, you are offering yourself. You are offering your love. You are the one who's romantic. I'm telling you something romantic is here and it comes from you. Maybe, maybe we are talking somebody who's your boss. Maybe somebody who is older than you, all right? But you are um, kind of interested one. You are approaching this person. You are kind of falling in love with this person and you want attention for yourself. Uh, somehow on Monday perhaps you didn't get attention or or could also be, you know, that what I told you about you being happy with yourself, showing yourself as an achiever. No, but within yourself you are you are searching for something else, for for where to from there. Um, what else now after this success or something like that could also be on Monday. Now the Tower and Seven of Swords, Tuesday. Now, this is sort of relationship or situation that you build. It's a building something in your life with time, with belief, with faith that this 
that what you build will stay strong for a long time will, will, will mean a lot for you. You can rely on that situation or on that person. You see what I'm saying? On Tuesday, things are falling apart. Your realization that that what you build is not solid. It's not going to last. It's not going to support you. You see what I'm saying? It's breaking down. It is your environment. Could be perhaps that is that sort of situation with other people. This is all visible. Come, maybe even comes from other people. From I don't know. From something that is external affects you. Definitely affects you. You wanna run away from there. You don't want conflict. You don't wanna be affected. Obviously, there is war zone behind this person. Okay, conflict, losing faith, breakup of relationship or friendship. You see what I'm saying? Something that was built with time breaks up. You wanna run away. You don't. Want to discuss it you don't want to know it you know with seven of swords it's kind of like you expected it you know it seems to me that this tower is not surprised to you it's not going to shock you you are not shocked in here you are prepared to take whatever you can take and run whatever benefits that you can have out of that situation that you build out of that relationship right and go away go away there is nothing in here your realization there is nothing anymore there for you on um on tuesday no wednesday i really think it's a good um it's a good day for you because it is completion completion of something that was fear there's something that was your nightmare you know when i said that this tower did not surprise you kind of you expected it you were ready for it you were ready for the tower this nightmare is over you know it will bring the tower moment actually it's gonna bring relief to you perhaps in some relationship with another person um whatever situation was 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 nightmare for you lately for whatever reason you didn't like it anymore you, you, you were fearing that it's going to last forever. For you, almost unbearable, okay? And, and it lasted, and it lasted. And the moment that it crashed down, you know, you are all happy. It's a, it's, your nightmares are going away. It ends. On Tuesday, you are all happy that things are ending. Biggest, biggest gain is that you are relieved of your fears of this nightmarish situation, you feel really good. You feel that from now on, only beautiful life for, for you. You see what I'm saying? Just once this tower moment came, relieved you of that fears and that nightmare. You feel so damn happy about the situation. <laughs> King of Pentacles with a Seven of Pentacles within you. I mean, th this is now energies that you really like. Now, after all, after all of it, you are finally settling down. You are very confident on Thursday. That's kind of everything is done. It's finished. From now on, you can plan your business. You can plan your career. You can plan your life. Okay, this is your energy, Taurus, King of Pentacles. You are planning your life from now on for the rest of your life. What is going to be? How are you going to make your money? Where are the values for you? You see what I'm saying with these two energies? You are investing in yourself, in, in on the stock market or anything. This is investment. You know, when you invest in yourself and you are now a different person with all that you are carrying within yourself or with yourself as value, that who you are, what you can do with that, how you can how you can manifest in the outer world with that qualities that you have within yourself that you managed to acquire during the during your lifetime, all right? through your schooling, through your, I don't know, life experience and so and so, all these values that you have within yourself. Now that what is, that what is best for you to make your business, to make your plans, long-term plans for your long-term future. Lovely, lovely, very solid energy on Thursday. You will love this day. You will love, you will plan, you will see yourself capable of being on your own, self-sufficient, capable, stable, grounded, lovely energy for you, Taurus. As I said, you, I think you're going to love this Thursday. No King of Cups in your environment. Again, somebody who's a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio person could be exactly the same one as we did have 
earlier on, week before, that what I said, that you perhaps were falling in love with this person for some reason. This person was, I mean, you are, you were attracted to this person kind of horribly. My impression was that you kind of falling in love with this water sign. Um, could be exactly the same person, that you had interaction on this day, on Friday with that person, but you kind of, you don't have, you don't have say in here, you don't have a way out, some kind, of, some sort of situation with this person is is unfavorable for you Taurus maybe it was your deeds okay because this is very rushed energy as I said it's not suitable for you at all maybe you promised something maybe you did something in all your excitement in all your good I don't know intention and love perhaps you did something that you regret on this day you will be regretting something I don't know, some obligations towards that person. You promise something. And something is there. You find yourself in the situation with no way out, no say in here. That's why I'm thinking that you really promised something and you are regretting on this day on Friday. That's what you say, that's what you promised. It's going to hit you. It's going to hit you hard on Friday. You will feel stuck, stuck with, with the situation with this person. Okay. Even though it seems very exciting and promising, like like just a week before, you did rush with this energy and you are paying price on Friday for it. Two of Cups, again, relationship with another one. I, I don't know, it, I told you at the beginning that it is about a relationship perhaps, maybe career, but I don't know, it seems to me that it's all about relationship. Do you have perhaps two people Two people, two different people in here, this water sign, and then somebody else, something else, completely different on Saturday. You see what I'm saying? This this two of cups is potential for this relationship. You know this person and you feel this is your soulmate. You are very passionate about this person. It's a lot of sexuality with days of wands. Seeing this relationship as a perfect relationship for you. I honestly uh, I'm honestly thinking that you started something, you were very interested in this uh, water sign, but then ended up not being that what you thought that it is. And in the meantime, another person came into your life. And then you say, now this one is my soulmate. That's your Saturday realization. You're having this idea about life together, about this partnership, love relationship. I mean, could be also okay, some partnership and then you are thinking about your career and your business and you're forming partnership with this person and you're very passionate and excited about everything very positive with this once. Thinking about future in a such a positive way, enthusiastic, creative way. But, you know, with two of cups and ace of wands, I really, it, it screams like love, relationship, like a soulmate, like passion and sexuality. You see what I'm saying? That's your Saturday. Sunday, Sunday. You want to turn your back to this situation, that's that's for sure. You're going to just say, no, I don't want it. Whatever I said, whatever that I promised to you, I don't care. I'm just leaving that behind. You know, you will just decide to say, no, I don't want you. Uh, I'm leaving you behind. I don't like you. I don't love you. I'm going for something else. I'm going for something better. This is second best. You see what I'm saying? But by all means, I really like this Thursday. I think you will be very confident with yourself. You will feel free. Um, if it's a relationship over, you will be happy that it's over. If it's about business and career, you will be happy that you can start something new, some new career, some new business, long-term future for you, long-term plans on Thursday. Very important Thursday, kind of until Thursday and from there, something new, something new doesn't matter career or another person in your life in a really good way in a really good way you will just say goodbye to that what you don't like you're not gonna explain anything you will just leave behind no excuse no explanations all right Taurus enjoy your week